Roman Atwood is engaged. Yeah, it's about time, am I right? Last night, Roman posted this picture to his Twitter and captioned it. She has no idea. When she wakes up, I'm asking her to marry me. Then this morning, Brittany posted this picture to her Twitter and said, What? I have been with my soulmate for nine and a half years and he finally asked if I could be his wife. I cannot explain how happy I am to become Brittany Atwood. Many other YouTubers took to Twitter to congratulate the couple. These guys are super cute together and you can tell how happy Brittany was. And the ring is gorgeous. I'm assuming there's a video on the proposal coming out. I mean, I hope there's a video because it's probably super adorable. And I'm guessing at first Brittany didn't believe this was real because in the past he has fake proposed to her on numerous occasions for prank videos. Roman and Brittany started dating back in November of 2008. So this was a long time coming. I had to wait eight and a half years for my ring, so trust me girl, I know how you felt waiting all of this time. And in the end, it's definitely worth it. Roman and Brittany aren't the only YouTube couple to get engaged recently. PewDiePie and Marzia also announced their engagement last week. So congratulations to both of these couples on their happy news. Hi everyone and welcome back to LP, I'm Court McGinley. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Tuesday. As you guys know, we have a lot of interesting news stories headed your way, so without further ado, let's get started. Speaking of engaged celebrities, we have one more on the list. It's like engagement season out there. Congrats to Leah Michelle, who was asked for her hand in marriage from boyfriend Zandy Reek with a stunning four carat diamond ring. To our knowledge, the couple has been dating for just over a year. Congrats to both of them. Moving on from love to hate, we have Stormy Daniels, who is suing President Trump for defamation after he referred to her sketch of the man who threatened her a con job. This is, of course, in reference to the sketch she has illustrated of the person who apparently threatened her in a Las Vegas parking lot in 2001 to stay quiet about her affair with Trump. The lawsuit was filed by Daniels yesterday. On top of this, Daniels is also locked in a legal battle with Michael Cohen, who is Trump's personal attorney. And that's for her release from the non-disclosure agreement that we've all heard about. She thinks she has a case as the document could be labeled as non-valid because Trump never signed it. So yeah, lots of drama there and we'll keep you guys up to date on these cases. Next, there has been an update in the case about the Waffle House shooter. You might remember me previously mentioning a man named James Shaw Jr. He was the man who stepped up to the shooter and wrestled the gun out of his hands so he couldn't kill any more people. Well, it turns out only hours after this happened, James also launched a fundraiser to help the victims' families. By Thursday afternoon of last week, that GoFundMe campaign has raised over $165,000, which was 11 times the goal. And that's absolutely amazing. James Shaw truly is an amazing man. Next, speaking of victims, thousands of people gathered in Toronto to pay tribute to the van attack victims. This happened on Sunday night during the Toronto Strong Visual. It was to honor the dead and support the living. Crowds walked along the stretch of Yonge Street where 10 were killed and 16 were injured on April 23rd. It's great that everyone was able to come together in memory of those who were gone. Next, on a more upbeat note, the Avengers have already shattered the box office records by bringing in $630 million opening weekend. Yeah, that is so insane. Talk about Avenger fans assembling. Oh my god, that's crazy. The previous holder of this record was The Fate of the Furious with $542 million opening weekend. This movie also set a new record for the opening weekend at the domestic box office with a projected $250 million. If you haven't seen this movie yet, I highly suggest you do. It's so amazing. If this is how part one of the movie did, I can't even imagine how well part two is going to do. And speaking of Marvel, the studio actually already has movies planned until 2025. About this, the Marvel Studios president said, We dream big at Marvel Studios. We have very lofty aspirations at Marvel Studios. For those dreams to be surpassed is saying something. Some of the noted upcoming Marvel movies are Ant-Man and the Wasp, Captain Marvel, The Fourth Avengers, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Let me know down in the comments which movie you're most excited to see. I think I'm gonna have to go with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 because I just love them so much. All right, and there you guys have it. That's all the news stories I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our awesome channel. Show us some love by giving this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.